Is this crop of rookies in 2024 the best the Bassmaster Elites have ever seen? That's what we're going to talk about right now. Now, if you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button. Welcome to the family. Is this the best rookie class of anglers that we've ever seen? Well, I've done a little bit of research and gone back a few years. Now, my criteria stands this way. It's how many people, how many rookies get to go to the Classic the next year. And to make it plain and simple, I've done it on Angler of the Year points. If you were in 40 and under, I felt like you qualified for the Classic. I believe fishing and qualifying for the elites is the toughest field to navigate through. Here's why. You have nine tournaments to fish all over the country and you have to finish in kind of the top 10 in points. And there are a lot of anglers that have left the BPT to go back into the opens to try to qualify for the elites that have had, that have been unsuccessful. And these days with forward facing sonar and the amount of anglers that rely on it, it has opened the door for a new wave of rookies to come in. And when they do get in, they're making it look easy. And these rookies have learned the ins and outs of fishing, of social media. They're very social media oriented. And they can fish almost anywhere because of the technology that they've learned. And the other anglers should have learned too. But these anglers have learned it to perfection. Now, if you don't know, here's the class that I'm talking about. And I have to read it. It includes JT Tompkins, John Garrett, Trey McKinney, Robert Gee, Tyler Williams, Wesley Gore, Logan Parks, Ben Milliken, and Kyle Patrick, and Timothy Doob. And if we look at those 10 anglers as rookies, if we took the criteria of the top 40 automatically make it into the Bassmaster Classic, if we look at mid-season, eight of those 10 anglers are in the top 40 as it stands right now. And you have anglers like Trey McKinney, who's number one in Angler of the Year points right now mid-season. And JT Tompkins in the top 10. John Garrett in the top 12. Wesley Gore, Tyler Williams. All these guys are really ranked very high after four tournaments in the Bassmaster Elite 2024 series. But are they the best of the best that we've ever had join the elites? But if we go back five years and look at the rookie of the years and we look at the points at the end of the year and where they stood in angular of the year points versus that 40 cut, this 2024 season of rookies is as good as it ever gets. Now in 2019, the group of rookies was is astronomical. If you look at Drew Cook and Lee Livesey and Patrick Walters and Luke Palmer and Mike Huff and Greg De Palma, those six anglers technically made the classic. So there were six anglers out of that rookie class that made the classic. When we look at 2020, we had Austin Felix and Kyle Welcher and Buddy Gross, Taku Ito, and that's it. There were four anglers that made the classic, technically. In 2021, we had six anglers with Josh Strachner, who isn't there anymore, Justin Hamner, KJ Queen, Brian New, Mark Frazier, and Matt Robertson all made the classic technically. And you can see some names now that are starting, you're starting to see win some tournaments, are prominent in Angler of the Year uh, points and more. In 2022, we only had two anglers, Jay Pruzak, I know I'm saying his name wrong, and Cody Huff. He had Jacob Fouts at 49, but that still is outside of that top 40. And in 2023, we had five anglers go to the Classic. Joey Suentes, Kyoto Fujita, Brian Schmidt, Will Davis, and Cooper Gallant. Cole Sands was just out of it. But if you look at it, having five anglers versus this year, where we have eight anglers that could possibly make the Classic, it just shows how strong this group of rookie anglers really is. Now let me just say there is a lot of fishing to go before the end of the season but if we look midway through the season right now these rookie anglers are really exceptional and veteran anglers should be worried about where their spot is. And while this might not be the most correct way to say this, but veteran anglers who are not embracing forward-facing sonar are in trouble. And they've had just as much time, maybe even more, to learn the technology. And I agree with you. Watching someone stare down at a video screen stinks. But if you're a professional angler, you need to embrace this technology and use it to your ability and use it to help you catch fish. And again, it stinks. And there probably will be some changes because I think that too many of us fans don't like watching what's going on right now and the only way that things will change is if we're not watching and they're not getting the viewership that'll be the only way things will change as much as that sucks but I do think these 10 anglers might be the best rookie class we've ever seen and they're only going to get better from here and that's the scary part but what do you think 
Do you think this is the best rookie class that we've ever seen? Are we giving these guys too much credit because they're all scopers? Or is this the new crop of awesome anglers? And should veterans be worried about these guys pushing them out and having to try to requalify? You tell me in the comments below. I really would appreciate it. Remember, comment below and tell me what you think. Take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Yes, I forgot what I was going to say there. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.